all right so in the previous session basically we discussed about the case design and data modeling we developed for example customer data model right now in the customer data model we had cid and uh, first name and etc a lot of things so we have this case type here okay which we need this insurance plan that we need to process customer information remember the first thing the customer will do is um, when we launch the case the first thing that we need is to either fetch the customer detail from the table if it is existing customer based on some sort of customer id or they will have to ask the user to provide the customer detail we know what how does the customer look like so in the next in this section what we will do is we will create a property under the case type in our in our case type basically and um, a property and that we will name as customer details or just the customer so this will be the customer this property will hold the customer record for this case now this customer is going into your case type work class okay create and open now this is this is the customer see this is the customer customer is defined uh, with uh, various attribute right various attribute first name cid so this is not a text you cannot hold all those things in the text that's where the concept of single page comes into the picture when you have because this case the insurance is going to deal with only one customer we need a single page if that was multiple cust customer we needed a list of page that is page list but how we will know that what properties should be there on the page that's where you use your data definition data class so we have the data class b3 for customer b3 data customer right and press down arrow to see that so this means that we are creating a property customer under the insurance plan which is a property of type page and the definition of that is cid and all that all those things that you created they will appear on the customer case okay so this is the customer uh, maybe you want to add address as well the customer's address property as well but leave it at the moment now i have that everything sorted out um, i have the customer detail to be captured address and plan we will add as we go let's talk about the case i am for the very first time i'm going to in basically add data collection step where customer will submit the form you can rename this is the process that will will create uh, that will get created so application submission and we will say submit policy application form or apply simply apply okay now you remember um, when you save it it this will be created as a flow this one will be created as a flow i haven't configured click on configured view so what happens the flow gets created this green icon green sign or collect information is an assignment assignment for the user a user has to work on this current user is working on that this on this assignment we have something called flow action the flow action doesn't get generated automatically unless you click on the configure give view and that's why the, you see this uh, basically alert if you click on that it will say that the flow, flow action does not exist so if you just click on configure you don't add anything you do not necessarily need to add it just submit it so pega will internally create a flow action and a section rule now what are those forget about that save it now this alert will be gone let's look at this process again so this when you launch the case it will come here it will the first process the first process as the first step it will be applied to the current user whoever is launching that case and the first thing that will how how does pega render that screen so what happens 
uh, when you launch a create a process this is start this is end within that we have this green assign green, green save this is assignment that's where we specify who to assign at the moment current operator then we have some this is flow by the way the entire thing then we have something called con, uh, flow action which actually is must be there for every assignment to a user if do you you have an assignment to the user you will have a flow action the flow action references an ui rule user interface rule called section that's the section that we user sees this is the section this is the section that i mean we did not configure anything there right so it's empty this is the section that you just see. Now you can see these rules, these sections in the case as well, in the case class. So see process. Case type, of course, it is flow. Uh, application submission flow was created. A flow action apply created. Work party will talk about that. And uh, um, user interface, a section is also created. Apply. You can open this again. This, these all are in the same class, work class. The very first thing that we want on this section is ask the user whether they are um, basically. So I've, I've, at this point of time, I'm going to edit the section from the back end. Okay. At the moment, if you create a case uh, insurance plan. All you see is a blank screen, nothing. We haven't, we don't have, because this is what will get rendered and this doesn't have anything. See, blank screen. So I'm going to ask the user whether an existing customer or not. And we are, so this, these are a scalar properties. This doesn't need a model and this has to be work label information. So I'm going to create one more property here. To store the response from the user whether it's new customer or old mm. sorry data model property um, new cust okay, it's boolean you could have it boolean let's have it as a boolean okay true or false or you can have text let's have text we will ask the user to select local list yes or no new customer yes or no the value will be yes or no and on this section i'm going to configure that so this is the section designer if you want to add anything click on the right hand side you see a bar plus sign data capture right and we have something called pickers we need pickers in the picker we need drop down click on that select the drop down and then click on either here on the pencil icon or here on the right hand side on the pencil icon click on that to configure it this drop down right so we will configure the response into the new customer property and this is basically a list type drop down as configured and we will have a placeholder what happens is if i do not gen s or no one of those will be automatically selected whichever comes at top that's not good actually we want to have placeholder that okay uh, include placeholder i will say select my type or just select okay. this time it will not be so new customer okay so the label comes automatically from the property you can modify the label as well so i will say new new customer question mark right so this is what the label will come save it now if you create a case you change the section from the back end insurance plan see new customer yes or no yes or no right now if it is no that means it's existing customer 
then we will ask them to provide their customer id so it, you need to hold the customer id again into a property in the work class of course um, you have that in the other but here you need it in the work class so that you can use it cid text is okay so here on the same section i'm going to add a text input and i'm going to say give the customer id in the field cid that's where and i'll change the label i'll say please provide your cid please provide your cid now this should only be visible visibility condition when the new customer id is equal to no right they're asking here new customer no then only that cid field should be visible run visibility on condition so that means you okay so there's a trick here if you run the insurance you say yes or no that is immediately as you said no new customer please provide your cid yes it's gone no let's do just this bunch and then we will talk about how to use the customer data for existing customer and other things okay let's at this point of time just do this much all right. So, uh, Mahesh, 